everyone so for today I am going to teach you a bit about my process when using Procreate okay so as you can see here's my very reliable Apple pencil so there and I'm also going to be using my iPad Pro okay? this is an old model but it's really still in very good condition except for some cracks well those are on the protective glass that's on it so and yeah I am also using a matte paper like screen protector on top to make it easier to draw okay so as you can see here is my Procreate app let's click on that here I'm just gonna go create a new canvas so let's try 8 by 10 I mostly work on an 8 by 10 canvas just flip it around like that for landscape and it's a good habit that before you begin to always check your canvas size so you just click crop and resize I've learned to do this just before I begin a new pro project just to make sure I have my high resolution file ready so I am work on a 300 dpi if I feel that there will be a possibility that I might print the art that I'm gonna make so just to make sure that I have it on high resolution it has to be at least 300 dpi Okay, so that when you enlarge it, there will be no pixelized, we call that, it won't look blurred, the pixels won't show, so, yeah, okay, right, so it's always easier to trim it down, I mean the size, than to, you know, blow it up to a bigger size, when it's too late, it's gonna be harder, so to avoid that, always double check your canvas size so today I'm gonna be drawing um, a scene from the ocean so you can see on the left side I'm I'm on a split screen mode okay on the left side is my Google Chrome and I'm on unsplash.com unsplash.com okay it's a website where you can borrow images photographs in varied um, subjects and these are also free to download so you can also use it as references for your drawings okay and there are a lot of subjects available on unsplash.com so I'm, we're going to use this image of a, of a fish oh this was published i think by someone from the country philippines because it says Bohol philippines so a shout out to delbert pagoyana pagayona sorry delbert pagayona May I borrow this image so that we can draw something from the underwater. So what I do, this is also something that I've learned to practice when, you know, using reference photos. When I try to get inspiration from photos that I find on the internet, I always make sure to not copy it as, you know, as exactly as you can see on the photo okay I try not to copy it exactly the same and I always enjoy the process of looking at different photos before I begin so that I get an, an inspiration like you know you feast on images such as these like I've chosen a scene from the underwater world so I'm basically just looking through multiple photos of fish um, creatures that you can find under the sea okay here's another beautiful one once i've had that feast of beautiful images i instantly get that inspiration to make something like it through my illustration okay so what do i mean by that um remember i showed you a picture a while ago so i had that saved here so let's insert that there. so aside from this image 
I also like this one. So what I'm going to do is to save this other image. So we can also use that as an inspiration. Okay. So once I've gathered several pictures from different sources, I combine them. Um, sometimes I get a bit from here or a bit from here. Like an initial approach that I want to do here is to use some elements from this photo as elements to put on my background. And also I like the look of the fish here. So maybe I can copy the fish and I copy a bit of these plants here. So for example, I see this cute yellow fish. So this is from another source. Okay, I'm going to save that. Again, these are royalty-free images that you can just freely use in your illustrations as photo references. Okay, And as courtesy to the original source or the original owners of these beautiful images, I always try to make sure that I include their names and the source, the website, which is unsplash.com, in the caption or in whatever social media platform that I choose to upload this to. So for example, if I'm going to use YouTube, I will definitely include their names there. Now sometimes, forgive me, but I sometimes forget to do that. And I always feel bad. Even if these are royalty-free images, I think they still deserve to be given credit since we are going to use them, right? To make our own art. So yeah. Basically, try to get bits and pieces from this one, from there, and from there, and just mash them all together to come up with an original concept or illustration. Okay? Okay. So, to continue, I am now on my full screen on Procreate. This is my canvas, and I have my three images inserted on my canvas. So now I have three separate layers for those images. Okay, so I'm going to just add a layer on top. Okay. So this tutorial, by the way, is just to give you an idea of how I work with photo references in creating original illustrations. Okay. And I find this very use useful, especially now that we can't really go out. You know, the internet is a uh, rich, rich um, treasure trove of beautiful photos which you can you know get get inspiration from so there and I'm just gonna make those pictures smaller so that I'll have more space to work on and can always enlarge them later so for the first fish that I'm going to work on, let's just hide those other pictures for now and focus on this orange fish. Okay. So I like to tilt my canvas like that or sometimes I tilt my base. So I'm using this very useful iPad or laptop stand that has a rotating base. Comment below if you want to know where I got that. I can share it, the link with you where I bought it. Okay, so right now my Apple Pencil needs to pair first. 